grandpa in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. And this is my grandpa with his dog, Beowulf. We live here in Sunny Sands. Here's my dad's bike shop, and this is our house. Oh, and here's my mum doing one of her hobbies. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, opera singing, and now her new hobby is growing vegetables. And more to the point, she's growing oddly shaped vegetables for the Sunny Sands Odd Vegetable Festival. There's no room to play Captain Dumbletwit Snap in here, Jason. The vegetables are taking over. Look at this one. Don't you just love him? I'm going to call him Christopher. Christopher? Christopher? We couldn't believe that Mum was now giving her vegetables names. Isn't he beautiful? Well, I wouldn't exactly call him beautiful, but he's certainly odd. The odder, the better. There. I'm off to my gardening club. Look after all my babies for me, won't you? I won't be long. So off went Mum, and Grandpa and I were left in charge of... a carrot called Christopher, and other odd vegetables. Well, Jason, if we're going to play snap, we better go outside. There might be more room there. But there wasn't more room in the garden. The vegetables had taken over here as well. Oh yes, Mum had grown every sort of vegetable you could possibly imagine. Right, I'll deal. We just started on our game when we heard... Cooey! It's only me! Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. Ooh, I say, the vegetables are taking over. <laughs> I've come to cook you some yummy supper. What? I'm going to invent a new recipe. But Mum didn't say you were coming. Well, Mum must have forgotten, mustn't she? I'm going to invent an odd vegetable stew with, wait for it, pickled onions, curry and custard. But you can't use any of Mum's odd vegetables. We're looking after them for her. Don't be so silly. She can't need them all. Ooh. And this will do for starters. Ooh. Right. She has to be stopped, Jason. I know. And there's only one way to do it. Not the shooting gun, Grandpa! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of things. He can chuff about in our Sunny Sands train. He can drive off in my car. He can get into all sorts of very small places. And often he runs so fast, you've no idea where he's gone. And I had no idea today. But there was no time to look for him. I needed to check what Great Aunt Loretta was up to. And she was up to no good. Oh, I say. <laughs> No! What? Not Christopher Great Aunt Loretta. He's Mum's favourite. Well, I'm not surprised. Look at his little legs. Woohoo! Mr. Mentor will love him. <laughs> Mr. Mentor? Yes. Mr. Mentor the Inventor. Now, Mr. Mentor the Inventor lives in the lighthouse in Sunny Sands. He's always coming up with really crazy inventions. Like this the grassy buggle jumper. Only the bugs liked it even more than he did. Then there's this, the automatic hairostatic that gives you a new hairstyle every day. And this, the Huffer Puffer Pillow Fluffer. Everyone loves going to visit him in the lighthouse and trying things out. And he likes trying out other people's inventions too, which was why... I've invited Mr Mentor for supper and I'm going to invent 
a new recipe. <laughs> oh no, she's not. Crumple! We've got to make sure that the vegetables really do take over, Jason. No, but Grandpa jumped down and ran into the kitchen. Grandpa, Grandpa, where are you going? I'm going to start with the pumpkin. Where's the nuts? Grandpa shot up the leg of the table and hid behind the pumpkin. Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? So lazy. Grandpa was determined to get the pumpkin out of the way. But he wasn't planning this. Ah, <gasps> <gasps> ah, me toe. Oh, oh, me toe. Great Amoretta is always hurting her toe. Oh. oh. We have a pack of peas in the freezer, especially oh. for these moments. Oh. 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 Maybe the pumpkin doesn't want you to cook it. Don't be so silly. How does a pumpkin know whether it wants to be cooked or not? Oh. I'm going to pick some beans, I am. Grandpa jumped off the table and followed her outside. The doorbell went. I ran to answer it. It was Mr. Mentor, the inventor. Jason, how do you do? -de -do? Am I too early? Uh, I've been trying out this fabidiculous new watch I've invented. See? Mr. Mentor doesn't only invent things, he invents words too. Oh, it is fabidiculous. I know. Shame it doesn't work. Oh, my goodness. The vegetables are taking over. My goodness. I've never seen such odd, wiggly looking beets before, have you, Mr. Mentor? Never. They are spectacularly wiggly. I had no idea where Grandpa was or what he was planning. They'll be perfect in an odd vegetable stew with pickled onions, curry and custard, won't they? <gasps> At that moment, I spotted Grandpa. He was making his way towards the beans. And just as Great Aunt Loretta leant forward to pick one, this happened. Ah! Oh! Grandpa was wiggling the beanstalk. Oh! Good heavens, what's going on? The beanstalk's wiggling. Wiggly beans on a wiggly beanstalk. How wizard woodlesome. Ah! Maybe the beans don't want to be picked, Great Aunt Loretta. Don't be so silly. I think it's an excellent invention. A beanstalk that won't let you pick the beans until they're ready. Not just super, but super duper. <laughs> Ridiculous. I needed to give Grandpa time to get out of the wiggly beanstalk. So I showed Mr. Mentor some of Mum's other vegetables. And there's some of our chilies over there. <gasps> Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Grandpa jump, run, and make his way back into the kitchen. I needed to get back in there too, and fast. Oh, oh this is such fun. What's next? I can hardly wait. Right. I'm going to start on me carrot. Where is it? For a second, I thought Christopher had gone missing, but suddenly... Ah, it's alive! I couldn't oh, believe my oh. eyes. I'd have to make sure that Grandpa wasn't seen. Brilioso! It's a fantastical invention! It's a horrid invention! It's a horrid cavorting carrot! Maybe it just doesn't want to be cooked, Great Aunt Loretta. Don't be so silly! Whoever invented it, Jason? Uh, Grandpa. Kind of. <laughs> wonderful! Absolutely wonderful! I knew what was going to happen. Careful, Great right Aunt Help! Time for Grandpa to stop. Oh. Grandpa, stop! But he was having such a great time. I could see another disaster coming. He was heading for the pond. Watch out, Mr. Mentor! Help! 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 On my way! Oh. I quickly picked up Grandpa. Whoops, did I get a bit carried away? I put him in my pocket, then I grabbed Christopher. At that moment, Mum arrived home. I'm home! Oh, Jason, you've been looking after Christopher. How kind. Oh, oh, put me up. Oh, no. oh dear. Problem? Problem. Oh, oh, what's 
you doing? Oh. oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, the vegetables were taking over. The wiggly beans would stop wiggling. Oh, I whipped Grandpa out of my pocket and put him down on the floor. He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, that was a close one, Jason. Still, at least we stopped Loretta from cooking Mum's odd vegetables. Do you know what I call that? Teamwork? Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Mum cooked a really yummy supper. What a day for inventions, eh? That wiggly bean bush. Oh, you should have seen it. Really? <gasps> Spectacular. And the clockwork carrot. Oh, clockwork carrot, eh? Truly fabidiculous. You are a great inventor, Grandpa. Inventor? Grandpa? He doesn't do anything except lie down. Oh, don't I? <laughs>